Hello and welcome to CBS Automotive and Cambridge Car Audio. My name is Ardil and I'm really proud to introduce another one of our installation videos. We've done loads of upgrades to this particular vehicle so feel free to check all those videos out. Best way to do that is subscribing to our YouTube channel and then you'll get up to date with all the latest videos that we're uploading. In terms of this particular video what we're going to be focusing on is the audio system and how we've upgraded that. So what we're going to do, we're going to start in the front of the vehicle and I'm going to explain to you exactly what's been done and how it's been done. In terms of the source head unit, we've actually upgraded that to the Alpine Halo 9 system. It doesn't matter if you own one of these with the stock head unit, we can still do a sound system similar to this in it, even working off the factory screen or factory system. So the Alpine Halo 9 head unit is basically providing just as a source unit. Then what we're doing is going straight from that into two amplifiers. First amplifier is what's called an Audison Forza 8.9, and then we've got an Audison Prima 1D, which is a one channel amplifier. We'll talk you through that in a second. In terms of the front speakers, what we're running is what's called Audison Voce AV 1.1s, an absolutely phenomenal tweeter. Really, really great sound quality and a, not a massive price point as well. So it's our sort of our go-to in terms of the front speaker system. The sound quality you get from them, how much power you can give them is really incredible. So the customer decided and on our, on our recommendation that because of the factory location of the tweeter on this particular vehicle is right hidden away on, on top of the dash and it fires up and it's all in the wrong place really. What we've done is upgraded that and changed the location of that. We disconnected the factory tweeter and put the Audison Voce AV1.1 into the A-pillar flushed it in so it looks completely OEM and it lo looks actually a far, far nicer solution than what the factory system was offering. So this customer did want it on show. If you didn't want it on show, we can hide that tweeter as well. So feel free when during our consultation basis to let us know exactly what you've seen and what you want from the system. And we'll guide you through that as well. In terms of the woofer in the door, that is an Audison Voce AV 6.5. It's a six and a half inch woofer that go, that's gone in behind the existing location. The main thing with this system as well that we've added around about 50 sheets of soundproofing. We use a Skins 3 mil layer, all the doors now feel really, really solid, as well as the acoustic environment in the car has been absolutely upgraded. So it's keeping all the audio inside the vehicle. A lot of people think with hi-fi systems that you're gonna be hear, heard down the street. When it's professionally installed by us, we always soundproof the vehicles, or generally do. Uh, depending on customer specification. Once it's soundproof, it keeps all the sound inside the vehicle, which means it's not going out, you're not losing that sound, but it also reduces your road noise. It really does transform this van into driving and sounding like a car. In terms of that, so that's basically the front end in terms of the speakers, and it's just a two-way fully active system in the front. So it's actually a fully active system completely and throughout. So the two amplifiers that we used are basically amplifiers that have what's called digital sound processing within them. It means we can tune the system, set it up to exactly how the customer would like it. So the Forza is an eight channel amplifier with nine channels of pro uh, processing power. But on, typically on systems like this and many other ones that we do, we've used, added in what's called a Prima AP1D, which is a one channel mono amplifier designed to run a subwoofer. What we do is we add that together so it gets nine channels of amplification into the vehicle and then we've got nine channels of processing allowed in the Forza. In effect, giving you a 9.9 .9, if you would. But basically that system gives you 85 watts per channel of the eight, of the eight channels uh, of the Forza amplifier. And then we're running the sub at two ohms, which is a four, 500 watt two ohms to the sub. And that's running two ohms in the rear. And what we've done is added Audison Prima into these really ni neat, nice and neat cubby boxes, which are directly firing forward to allow for a little bit of extra volume in the front, but also because we're adding in seats later on, the, the rear passengers will nice and easily be able to see the, and hear the acoustics in the vehicle. This is giving you that overall surround sound effect. And then we've got one 10 inch Prima sub in the rear. So those amplifiers that we're using are completely hidden away. If you did want them on show, we can do that too, and we can do custom builds as well. This customer wanted it completely hidden away, so we've done so. So in terms of the back of the, back of the vehicle, this was all ply lining as it was a van. Now what we've done is carpeted it using black acoustic carpet, 
first of all, Brit again keeps the sound inside the vehicle, but also adds a bit of a nicer feel and look to the vehicle. So all these panels here have all been soundproof. So everything you can see covered in black is layered with a two layer sound, uh, soundproofing. So one on the back of the MDF and then one on the actual body panel itself. So in terms of when you, from the outside of the van, you can't tell we've been there. When you get inside the vehicle, a complete transformation. You're getting a lot more depth from the system with this 10 inch sub. And you may be thinking about how these are secured or how the sub is secured to the left hand side of the paneling. It's actually, we've taken out the speakers from our cubby boxes. We've drilled through into the wheel arches, drilled through into the side panels, and then we've also nut and bolted them. But what we've also done is Velcroed as well, just to keep it and make it an extra bit more solid. And also let, cause obviously we're sending a fair amount of power to these as well. to how help they can help them perform as well. In terms of these boxes, we've actually ported them. So there's nothing visible here, but what we wanted is them to get a little bit more air in them. We've actually cut into the back of this side panel, which is here, and then that's vented into the actual uh, door panel itself, just to get, gain a little bit more base from these units. So overall, a really, really cool and nice system, allowing for full functionality for digital sound processing, so we can set up the vehicle exactly how you want it to sound. All our work gets carried out from our workshop facilities in Cambridge. So if you're interested in something like this, feel free to get in contact with us. We'll explain the ways, the best ways to get in contact with us and book in with us. We've got a whole section of our website des de designated to people traveling from further afield. We've got someone coming over this weekend and we do our best to accommodate that. And what we're actually doing is opening up on Sunday so we can showcase exactly what we're doing and design the system for that customer. So we, we are very, very flexible in terms of how we operate and how we can get the work in as well. So for more information on this system, for instance, or any other system, if you're looking into a van and you want to upgrade the sound system or do a full camper conversion, feel free to get in contact with us. We'll drop all our social media links below, so check them out. But don't forget to like and share this video. But the best thing to do is subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can keep up to date with the latest videos of our installations, whether it's vehicles, cars, supercars, or even this week we've uploaded one which was um, installing an upgrade to trailer systems. So thank you very much once again for watching our short video on the Mercedes Vito van that we've upgrade, upgraded. It's a 2019 model. So thank you very much once again, and we look forward to upgrading your car soon. Thank you.